But when you've seen Selby turn things around as often as myself and Alan, well, we're taking nothing for granted. No, we don't. You know, never discount. Three-time world champion Mark Selby do that at your peril. But he's going to probably need some help from his opponent if he's going to get back into this match tonight. Kyron carries on the form he did in the first four frames. It's going to be tall order to even get back into the match, never mind think about winning it. You're right, Alan, because Wilson has become so formidable. From A to Z in his game. One thing that Selby has to do, score. Highest break pre-interval, 29. Made that look very oh. easy. Perfectly controlled. Something I know he has been working 13. on actually, Mark Selby, is making his decision just a little quicker. Obviously he knows what shot he's going to play, he knows what shot he wants to play. I'm trying to stay in rhythm. Not being hesitant in any way. 18. Nineteen. Yes, because every single player who's ever picked up a cue can bog themselves down. Don't need an opponent to do that. If you mired in indecision, it's not a good thing. You don't want to be too hasty, of course not. 26. But flowing... 26. Preferable to faltering. And being ponderous. Yeah, no mess in here. Attack the bunch. I ah, played it well. That's unfortunate not to be on anything easy. Well, that red's just popped its... 34. Head. Right there, it was the right centre. It's not a sitter, it looks it on the screen, but... Quite an acute angle. At least he doesn't have an awful lot to do with the cue ball. Yeah, well played. As 35. I say, he deserved to be on one there. That was an excellent shot into the pack of reds. Forty. 
Mox LB40. Playing it like that, the only easy part he could possibly leave was the red itself. And that's precisely what's happened. One. Eight. Keep an eye on his cue ball then. A little break. Uh, yeah, I think it's fast improving. New feral. Yeah. I think he's had a kick there actually. Nine. Getting the cue ball cleaned. Evidence of that. But I think the new feral, the um, titanium feral, has, has actually helped him. It does play a bit differently. A couple of uh, fellas on the tour have been using it and been asking them about it. I say helped him. It would help on this sort of shot because he you hit the cue ball more in straight lines with the titanium ferrule and just as I say that he's obviously Carol missed Wilson it that's nine. what happens but oh, look at his pocket or something whether it caught it on the way through there anyway, chance is gone that was a good one wasn't it I know he's been conscious of his logo a couple of times in the match A really unexpected miss and that kind of mistake I'm not saying it will but it could turn the whole contest yeah it's a bit of the help that we suggested he might need Mark Selby that that was a leg up wasn't it this is a gift he's not had that many this evening Mark one best of 11 totally different proposition to the best of 7 match this afternoon that both are able to come through uh, that's so unfortunate still half on one Four. horrible bridging and I don't know if he can actually hold this side of the bolt line for a colour if he takes the red on To go in and out of bulk. Yeah, just had to settle for Five. playing it in bulk and hope he's on something. He's got the brown. But wouldn't you just know it? He's finished dead straight. Marcel B5. It looks so simple, just a dab in behind the green, but on these fast match cloths, that was really well executed. So easy to maybe decelerate and leave the cue ball short. More commonly, we see players be a little clumsy and not get the snooker. Selby did well there. I miss Max Selby four. Free ball. 
Well, Tatiana Wollaston went all through the rigmarole of <laughs> calling it a free ball there. And of course, she had to do that, but it was always going to go back. Yeah, I can see what he's trying here. The thinking behind the way he's playing this shot, he's, he's maybe thinking I've got two chances of slipping thin off one of the two reds. Thank you. Try and nestle the cue ball somewhere near this cushion. I think that's what he's doing, playing it. And then two chances, missed the first one, and just missed out again. Fall, no miss. Max will be full. Point tracking up. this time. Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't look on at all that does it? Well, the miss. Max LB4. Yeah, it be a change of direction, a change of plan here because it simply doesn't look like it's possible. Players <laughs> being the way they are, you get stubborn in these situations. You think, no, I'm going to get it, that's three if I don't <coughs> want to keep trying. Ball and miss. Mark Selby four. Well, the fifth attempt coming up. Sixteen penalties already given away. He's still got points in hand as Wilson, but can't keep doing this. Ball and a miss. Mark Selby, four. He's 56 adrift now, Wilson, so he can't afford to miss this on three more occasions. I suppose you can make an argument, Alan, to say that in the end the trade off was worth it. Yeah. Every credit. There's the difference, 56. Mark just pushing this red to the side cushion. Rope that Kyra is going to be walking here in these next few shots is 56 behind the, the way the match is, the way the table is, and you can't afford to leave a shot to nothing. A shot for something here, right to the middle, virtual frame ball then. made his mind up quickly. I like this. Fancy him for knocking this in. Mm. My apologies. <laughs> Can't deliver the, the coup de grace in this Let's frame after the interval. not saying they're going to remain this way but right now this table is ripe for the picking the clearance is there if he gets the chance
Now then, he's going to play the cut and he's going to try and lift that red that Mark just parked on the left side cush. If this goes in and he gets the cannon, yeah, he would have got the cannon if he'd have got the pot. It looks like he's left it. better chance than it looked at wasn't it you know I think if he had I got the pot he definitely would have lifted the red anyway this time no what? mistake and blue puts him virtually over the winning line Just wants one more red to Six. be absolutely safe. Seven. The first step on a lengthy road, but at least it's in the right direction. shots like that are much 30. easier when you're 60 odd in front isn't it Fourteen. yes with the frame on the line the applause button would have been pressed there twenty one Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Thirty-three. Thirty-six. Forty. Selby won't be too excited yet, but he will be just a little relieved. Forty-five. Fifty-one. The white march has been averted. The comeback king has his foot in the door. But will this fight back be sustained? Find out after the break. In any sport, reputation is a powerful weapon. Mark Selby has got a reputation for being a recovery artist. Turning impending defeat into unlikely victory. That's a fact of which Corin Wilson is well aware. And if Selby can win this frame as well, suddenly the whole dynamic of the match shifts.
showing aggressive intent. Looks like he's taking this red on. Which, in one sense, is a good thing because he doesn't want to start getting a little negative and waiting for the chances to come to him. You've still got to go hunting them your, yourself. But, those devils do change matches, don't they? Happens a lot. Mm. One. Mark Selby all of a sudden has a bit of momentum. We said earlier, 42 minutes he went in that opening first four frames without potting a, a ball, without troubling the scorers, so we well, didn't have any momentum, but he's got it at the, at the minute. Eight. Nine. And we know these players are good enough at, at any time, but when they are pretty much out of a match, they become, in some ways, even more dangerous 14. because they're just sort of playing in a loose fashion without any fear of bad things happening because 15. they're not they don't feel like they're in a match yet. So he's kinda gonna be free wheeling the next frame or two possibly. the reasons why players play on for snookers and things like that as, as a rule is so that everyone Quint. else realises that the way they play and Kyron Wilson will be sitting in his chair knowing that there's no give and Mark Selby you sometimes don't get the benefit of trying really 21. hard at the time but further down the line in a couple of tournaments or so it might pay off for you because your opponent knows you've got to put him away early. Twenty eight. Twenty nine. Might be playing for a half ball green here. No, I yeah, think he Selby. did, but took his eye off the pot. Yes, not identical, but undercutting the red, reminiscent of the first frame. Went into that pocket, he undercut the pink. Do you believe it? He's got the gap here. Mm, had to swerve it. One. So, doesn't want to be straight in this black. Karen Wilson won.
You can't be surprised by that. It really was. The ultimate exhibition of queuing. Examination of queuing also. Wilson will be aggrieved that the black is run safe. Very safe. Thirty three ahead, no bad thing to get a red safe. Yeah, where the other red is, I don't think it'll be there for very long. Mind you, Mark's just gonna park this one next to the one we're just talking about here. Just send it this side of the bulk line, the red. There you go. Yeah, Kyron can play the cue ball back into bulk here, knowing that Mark's not going to lift the other one. If he can see it, which he can, but he wouldn't, he's not going to lift it unless he absolutely has to. Good shot that. Yeah, see Mark's not obviously interested in that right hand red, but he might might be forced into playing it here. I don't think he will. The red nearest that right hand black pocket. Not all that easy to play a good safety off that. Let's see what he's got for us. We'll just push it to the side cushion and try and park the cue ball in behind the other one. Yeah, good shot. After last night's five century blast from Jed Trump, Karen Wilson and Mark Selby playing a, a very different game, but it's still absorbing. And maybe even more mentally taxing. I think he just eyeballed the black there, didn't he? So he's gonna well I thought he was gonna try and lift it. But he's actually played a very good shot. As long as he doesn't leave Mark any sort of shot to nothing. He's trying to force Mark into lifting one of the difficult reds. But just as Kyron was stubborn with that uh, snooker escape earlier on. Mark's the same. He ain't going to 
promote any of those two reds. Unless he has to, that is. In the annals of this game, there are few players better at getting out of snookers. Or indeed, shots of that ilk. The Mark Selby doesn't just make the contact, he makes exactly the precise contact. Time and again, it's far too often to be any semblance of a coincidence. They're both looking for something different here. What Kyron's wanting is a bit of room. To be able to bring one of the reds off the cushion. Mark's looking for room to push another one onto the cushion. Taking its time, but well, that's going to be solved now. So Kyron's going to get his wish. in the green pocket with the cue ball here that's what we'll be trying yeah, playing it straight up and down pretty good good shot and like I say he got his wish there didn't he A 10 minutes safety exchange. Nothing unusual with these two, especially head to head. They can mix it.
Yeah, and after the 10 minute impasse, that's uh, what tends to happen, isn't it? When you get a left a red like that. Have you got to find your cueing? Your arm goes a bit cold on you. Yes, and that's been a weakness of Selby's game in this match. He's attempted 12 pods from distance, knocked in three. Oh, that's superb. That is very One. good. Considering again, not had anything to go at himself for the best part of 15 minutes now. I said earlier today, upstairs in the studio, I was saying about the way that Kyron treats each shot as a different, a separate event, which it is. I like the way he does it. You know, he can leave the past where it is and get on with the present, not get ahead of himself, anything like that. I'm paraphrasing, Alan, but I think you said upstairs that you thought he was ready to win a big one, and I could not agree more. It, it's one of those things, isn't it, Phil, that you, you can't really tell what it is that makes you think that. Seven. It's just something about a player. Something changes. I don't quite know what it is, but it, to me, his cue ball's better than I've ever seen it. Eight. And when something like that does improve, he's got most other things locked down, but something like that improves. It ekes into uh, all areas of your game. And he's got that winning mentality. Saw him recently in an early stage of the Championship League and congratulated him on reaching the final of the World Championship. And you could see he was genuinely disappointed. A lot of players at his career development stage would have been delighted. 13. Not least because of the huge financial check he received. But it was genuine. 14. He said, I left the crucible so, so dejected. Yeah, but the currency he's interested in is winning and he's well equipped. Yeah, sorry, Phil, I, I was going to say, but dejected in the correct way, 20. wasn't it? Simply disappointed that he didn't win, not so much the way he played. Disappointed he didn't win because he, he would have 21. expected to win. Meanwhile, he's now right back in this frame. Yeah, sometimes pre match players say things 27. that perhaps. They don't fully mean, but I genuinely think that every time he plays, he expects to win. Twenty-eight. Another example. That was exemplary. Cue ball there. So if you can keep it under good order. The next. Three or four shots, at some stage he'll be able to get on that difficult red. Mm, that, just as I say that, he's played the worst shot of it. The whole match from his side of things, that was really poor. 33. Good. 12 inches at least shy of pace there. Well, he's brilliant with the rest, he's going to have to be. That's in a singe pot, this one. Uh, not easy. Karen Wilson, 33. That's his tenth shot today, trying to pot a ball using the rest. And the first one, he's missed. 
one. Now dare he risk trying to move that red. No, doesn't look like it. Six. Seven. actually a brilliant piece of thinking that wasn't it because two red blacks he doesn't need the yellow 14 and what he can do off the yellow if he gets that far is lay a really impactful snooker Fifteen. same obviously applies to the blue so another Clever shot because he's well. Never say never in this game, but for all my almost guaranteed to be on this red. And played it to the millimeter. That is absolutely perfect. Twenty. Don't foresee any mistakes here. So Alan's arithmetic was smack on. Wilson needs a snooker. Mark Selby, 28. Is there a gap between black and blue? If there isn't, it's not an, any, an easy hit, but there is a gap. That was very unfortunate. And Chiron. Here's another chance. Might even be pushing the pink into the open a bit more and use it as a holding little buffer. Yeah, he didn't. But pretty good shot. Sometimes all you can do is just ask the question. Yes, it's a one cushion escape, but it can be missed, as we know. Two cushions. Ah, good hit. Selby wins an awful lot of frames after needing snookers. He doesn't lose many when the other guy needs them. His escapology. Top notch.
Lone potting though tonight has been the obvious Achilles heel. Poor Selby. Karen Wilson too. The third lengthy frame of the match, the first took 26 minutes, the fourth, 44 minutes. This one might well last over half an hour. Nice line they are, aren't they? Brown, blue and pink. This looks like a double kiss, this one. Pushing this up and down. Just managed to avoid it. But yeah, if he gets a decent chance, Kyron, he'll certainly get close to getting a snooker with that line of the three. Now's a better chance. Still far from easy to drop that cue ball tight in behind the 
the blue. A decent chance. You can keep the green away from a cushion as well, though. Got the snooker, but it's not going to be decisive, I don't think. separation here. There's Mark. Not bad. Another half chance. Now I actually fancy him getting quite close to this behind the black because he played a similar shot a few shots ago, didn't he? And he got it a little thick. Cue ball didn't make the journey across. I expected to be pretty close this time. Could play it plain ball. Separation, but you play it hard. If you all start running around, anything can happen. You have to just settle. Maybe leaving Kyron something of a chance here. One snooker required, but it's one successful snooker, and the rate that Selby hits snookers, Wilson probably needs to lay 10 or 12 to finally get the desired penalty points. Good etiquette from Wilson. You are allowed these days to concede with your opponent at the table, but there was no sign of that. Three. Seven. Twelve. Eighteen. And a frame. Marker. This has been a typically gritty Selby frame that lasted 36 minutes. He's got the patience of Joe. And in this match, momentum has switched. really is some record, Helen, isn't it? Judd Trump had won 10 consecutive ranking finals until being beaten in the Championship League climax on Friday, but that was only best of five. Yeah, it sure is, and, and when you think about his record and just long frame matches all told, it's really incredible, some of the numbers. 
records like the Crucible, but yeah, and finals as well. Won the vast majority of them. The thing with finals, by their very nature, you're playing someone in form. So to prevail in 10 on the trot. Just shows that this man is a winning machine. And he wins in all different kinds of ways. Right now, he's grinding. Yeah, talking about 10, we've just gone past 10 o'clock. In the evening, Mark Selby started out nine hours ago, didn't he? I wonder if he was able to get a little sleep in the, late this afternoon. Because uh, yeah, it's, it's not always easy to do that. If you can, it's worth doing. You would have known coming out tonight in for a tough match. If it goes deep, it can also be quite late. So, sure, he would have tried to get some shut eye. Well, Selby's a past master at winning two matches in a day. You have to do that on the Thursday of the Home Nations event, and he's had tremendous success in those tournaments: the Northern Ireland, the English, the Scottish, and the Welsh Opens. You play from 128 to a champion in a week. And that requires the last 32 and the last 16 being played on the same day. Some players, I think, find it difficult to get up psychologically for two contests. Not Mark Selby. It's amazing when you think back of the, the old PTC events that were introduced in 2010. You had to win four best of sevens on finals day, last 16, didn't you? And he won seven of those. sorts there wasn't he so Kyron has earned himself more than good chance here one I don't think it's a stretch to say this is his finest chance of the entire contest. Seven. Yeah, drop of the shoulders there. Intended being on the one to the corner and change of plan. Minor irritation. Yeah, I think the stun between yellow and brown would be the shot. Especially as well because the pink goes to left corner, so you overcook it playing for blue. It appears he's not doing that, he's going straight up and down. No, did play it. Eight. Yeah, that was the way to play it. And now he's back in prime position Thirteen. situation retrieved because he can play on that red next time round the one to left corner get rid of that a little bit more 14. room to manoeuvre Twenty-one. 
22. Talking of long days, long days for the referees as well. Tatiana Lusten there, looking after proceedings. 29. And let's not forget that Tatiana's husband, Ben, came within a frame of being here. Might well have won the Championship League back in June. He needed to win the last frame of the last match of the group against Luca Brussel. He wobbled a red with the balls wide open and Brussel made a century. And he was the one who won the tournament and Ben just missed out. Thirty-seven. Might perhaps still be able to cut this back to the middle, but it's well borderline at best. Is he playing the double? Looks like it. Good recovery. Thirty-eight. That's yet another department of his game that impresses me. Really good doubler. <coughs> Up there with John Higgins. And in fact, Alan, you good self. Yeah, it's one of those... Those things, isn't it? But I agree, yeah, John and, and certainly Kyron. Whenever they get a double, you kind of half fancy them. They've got that look about them. They just look like they're going to make it. Now he gets the cannon this time. This is perfect. Forty-five. Good stuff this because yeah, we spoke about momentum and it had been wrestled away from him. So you get your scoring boots back on and, and try and restamp your authority. Never easy. Forty six. second red then taking the cue ball into bulk and dropping on a sixpence on the blue afterwards. Not been plain sailing this break. But now from here, it really should be five two. Fifty one. Karen Wilson, 51. Well, well, well. If he loses this frame, that will be a, a shaker. Shaking to his boots. Yeah, you can see the disappointment in him there. Yeah, he's, looking, he's thinking about his feral. He missed it thick, didn't he? That's what happens with one of those titanium ferals. Takes a bit of time to get used to it. You need to actually aim a little bit thinner in that type of shot than what you naturally would do or what other way you have done for all your career. Happened on a blue, didn't it? In Stephen Maguire this afternoon. Missed it thick. Did fluk it right enough, but...
Fun. Mark shall be full. Yeah, I mean, it's all right being aggressive, but does he need to play that? 51 in front? Yeah. You win and lose a lot of these matches based on some of the some of the decisions that you make. I don't think that was the right decision, not given the situation of the match and the red that he's just missed a couple of minutes ago. One. <coughs> he should be potting, not sitting. Mark's going to try and release one of the reds, I believe, here. That one close to the side, Kush. Six. I think he will play it. He'd be busy not being on a colour. Mm, decided against it. Seven. So, first things first, he's clearly thinking, get myself back in the frame. Decisions that was one of them right there. Oh, that's a good shot. They cued that lovely. We're witnessing the most important passage of play in the entire match. Nineteen. Wilson will be desperate for another chance. Selby knows he can do great harm to that man's psyche. If he can make it 4-3, boy, game on. Twenty-seven. Might actually be a little bonus here if he can hold for that red near the yellow. No, he's not doing. Looks like he might be pushing it into play. Yeah. Well played. really in business because he can pick his spot for top side of blue and get close to the red by this cushion. The only thing you can see going wrong here is if we were to land straight on this red. A little bounce on and off the cushion. Just on and off and no more. That's a beautiful shot. That is a cracker. Absolutely perfect. 36. Forty-four. The master plunderer. And that man is about to be pickpocketed. Forty-five. 
with it entirely his own fault. He left his wallet open. 45. shot that Kyron took on under no pressure at all to play it a little mini test never a sitter this gets to time it nicely should be okay Really 49. nice piece of queuing that was. And now only green, brown and blue in addition will do. Fifty two. Look at the calmness walking round the table. Watch him walk round for this blue here. Nice and slow, trying to slow down the heartbeat and remember to breathe, keep your breathing in order. Okay, nice and slow. This has been some effort, it really has. We keep 61. lengthy lists of players' century breaks. We don't keep lists of hard breaking clearances. If we did, Selby would be 67. right at the top of the tree. He's built a career on it. That was typical Selby and brilliant Selby. It should have been 5-2 Wilson. No doubt. It's 4-3. Test. success has changed pre-interval Wilson well it was a runaway but from frame five onwards roles reversed foul Karen Wilson four Well, the four penalty points inconsequential the fact he's left the cue ball in hand and a red is on now this is normally meat and drink for Wilson this kind of shot under the circumstances a brilliant pot that wasn't it and that's what happens when things turn had he been flowing on top he would have caught the blue slightly thinner and been perfect on it this game always asks you questions Excellent. That was first class. Six. Seven.
twelve. Now, looking at that, I don't think he can avoid cannon on the black, can he? No, I did well. Thirteen. Well cued. Now, he's got a good chance being able to pick a spot. In a few shots time to get get busy with that pack. The only thing I would say, I'm 20. looking ahead here, probably like to go into the pack from this side, the side he's playing from now. Might be able to do that off this red. No. 21. Because low in the black into this pocket into that pack, they look to me like he's going to be busy getting on one. We'll see in a a minute or two, of course that red there, on the right side, that's in the open, so... The pink spot's covered, take that. 28. Take the pink this time. It does look like the pink spot is covered, so... Mm, difficult to tell. 29. Once again, excellent cue ball control. Cover the situation. 34. Needs to be careful here. We've seen a lot of crunch pots this week. Listen to this left hand middle pocket. Thirty-five. And no doubter. <coughs> Karen Wilson, 35. Well, didn't to tell whether it was a kick or not, but either way, surprising miss. He's suffering in his chair right now, shake of the head, muttering to himself. Exceptional. Didn't look it. But now we certainly get something of the pack. It doesn't want to get too busy with this cue ball. It doesn't want it spitting back off the pack, back at him. Coming down anywhere near this black cushion. But he needs to get it away from them, so... We've got to get some sort of spin on it and just spin it away about 12 inches from them. Ah, well played. Decided to go half ball. Eight. Yeah, quite clever. Now this is a massive shot. If he knocks this thread in. Yeah. That one, he'd, he'd love to play that red. The one on the left there, if he could play it. Softly. Guaranteed being on the black. But he wants to play more of a punch shot. Class. 
that shot was. Just pure. You sense he's really in, enjoying this. He, he embraces a challenge. Loves it when he's placed in this kind of position. Obviously didn't want to go 4-0 down, but no one's better equipped to come back from that position. No one. Sixteen. Seventeen. And what about the experience he can call upon? Tonight he's trying to reach the semi-final of a professional event for the 79th time. That's ranking, invitation, all kinds of stuff. What a record. Yeah, the fast table really helps you with that type of shot. Top side of blue. He's having to work his socks off here, Mark, for this. But Drop this blue in the middle, be back in prime position once again. Yeah, well done. Now he's really in business. Twenty eight. Just wonder if he's putting a little plan together. See the red that is nearest the left side cushion. I think he's what he's thinking is I'm gonna leave that till the end. Because that's the one that 29. gives me almost guaranteed access on an angle in the black to promote the last red. So it'll keep for now. I think that's his plan. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Yeah, what a piece of thinking. Brilliant. There's something that you, you can't really see, but... Dogs are turning, no doubt about it. He doesn't even mind. It actually might even be the best thing here to go up for blue. 44. Yeah, decision to make again here. I don't think he wants to play the cannon on the red this time. Something that just momentarily distracted him. In a crowdless arena. The slightest movement or noise is going to be noticed. It's gone wrong. Just too high 15. in the blue for comfort, wasn't it? But 
He's in the box seat now. All right, he's only 11 in front, but. If not promote the red, he can certainly put Kyron in a world of pain. A couple of shots time. side of the black. I get the feeling, Alan, you'll be putting that one in your highlight reel. What a shot. And if he does develop this red here, the penultimate red was magic. Oh, he deserved more. I think he might have second prize, but had he chipped that red over the pocket, 58. it would have been level terms. I think you called it earlier. He's actually enjoying this, isn't he, for a week? He loves the challenge of it, and why not? Now then, tight in behind the pink, and send the red. Mark Selby. Doesn't 58. miss a trick. Just past the bolt line. I want a free ball. I want the lot. I want fouls. I want everything here. No. Oh. Trust to some luck now, Kyron. Could be doing with some. But first things first. Got to find a way to hit the red. One. There is no justice. Massive fluke this afternoon on the blue. Just as Steve Maguire had got some form of foothold. Three. And now Mark Selby can't believe it. Five. Look. Ooh, plays such a big part in this game, even at this level. I'm actually in shock at Eight. that. Really, I mean, well, it does happen on occasion, but it doesn't normally happen under these circumstances where Mark's come back into the game and playing brilliant snooker. It, the gods tend not to forgive you for some reason. This time they've decided to help Kyron out. What? Well, Bill has to play this properly. Needs the lot. Twelve. And that's ideal. Seventeen. Twenty-three. Not guaranteed this. At this stage, nothing is. This could be missed. Told you. Kyron Wilson, 20. Good call, Phil. There was a lot of pressure on it, and as Kyron walks back to his chair, Mark Selby's having a good look at him. Yeah. Now look at this shot. First, see the miss by Kyron, but oh, this is. If he gets any way close to the pot here, we'll look out for the left middle pocket with the cue ball. But it's largely out of his hands, he's just got to let gravity take over here. What a smashing frame. A frame that is why we love the game.
Seven. Lady Luck right now has got a crush on Kyron Wilson. We thought he might have spurned her advances, but in the end he took her by the hand and he's walked to 5-3. Kyron Wilson an evil snooker, wasn't it, as well? It was a difficult hit, never mind the fluke. I just hope that Anthony McGill isn't watching because it might reopen memories of what happened in the deciding frame of the semi-final with Kyron Wilson when, let's not forget, Wilson fluke frame ball there and was lucky on a couple of other occasions as well, maybe even three occasions. Frame nine. Mark Selby to break. Oh, cracking One. pot. Just overcooked the cue ball, but he is on yellow and green. Yeah, worth another look. I wonder if he'd have potted that if it was four reach. <laughs> we'll never know. But uh, either way, superb shot. For most players, this would be a ball that could be missed. Wilson's deadly with the rest. Five. Brown ball. Nine. This depends if he pots the red how you keep the black away from the the cushion. He played it absolutely beautifully. Couldn't have played that any better. Quite deliberately pushed it on and off the cushion. Right. Hard as he could to get it out into the open as much as possible. These are tricky. Timing shot. Yeah, they are tricky. Karen Wilson, 10. Now then. See that again, it looked more difficult from there, didn't it? It wasn't far away, but as I said in a little piece we done, the, the far jaw's not that friendly. These rats on tables at the pace. One. Given the conclusion of the previous frame, many players would have been floored by it. But Selby, you know, will keep on coming. That's poor. It was a big target, that wasn't it? Eight. Possible plant. Let's see the black again. Oh, 
it's certainly going to be close because the two reds are virtually touching so if he plays it he'll at least knuckle it for me damage if any has he done Mark Selby no. 8 I think that red might go through green and brown there's also one to the other corner First little sign of nerves, real nerves. He's in a hurry to get over the winning line now is Kyron. Yeah, shaking his head, he's not happy. Yeah. Well he moved on the shot. Unlike him. Yeah, detected that. Let's have a look at it again. Yeah, quite see all of us frame there but certainly did seem to move just before delivery one oh, it's a better shot than it looked that sets him up now here here it is again see the, the, the head you know, and a shudder that Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Mark Selby's back in amongst it. Eight. Nine. Sixteen. They've had some good old-fashioned tussles, these two. Back-to-back semi-finals of the China Open in Beijing. On both occasions won by Selby. 6-4 and 10-8. 17. But none of their previous five meetings have gone the distance. Wouldn't be surprised if this is the first. Twenty one. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-seven.
I think his overall demeanour in the match. 38. Yeah, it was quite poor early on in spells, but overall demeanour tells you that he's generally very happy with his game again. That's what it is, isn't it? 4 0 behind. No thoughts of giving in. Well, there isn't any giving in this guy. He sensed that he's still probably thought in his heart of hearts I've still got some sort of chance in this match when you're not playing well you just don't see 46. yourself being able to win six frames for the loss of only one 4-0 behind To his eternal credit. 53. Colin Wilson has shown time and again that he can withstand challenges. Sylvia has shown he can put up an unbelievable fight time and again this is a pressure shot because he didn't intend the cue ball to be so close to the side cushion 54. Mark Selby 54 well thankfully thankfully he's just about okay in terms of Wilson requiring a snooker Forty five adrift, forty three on seven. That's the double on. Not quite. Karen Wilson, seven. Quite a big shot, that. <laughs> They've managed to get the double in you know, position on the black. That red is danger zone, isn't it? The way that's sitting. I think Mark will be slow in shifting it right here, though. Wants to separate those two, red and blue, together. No good to him. Obviously, go just below the right side middle pocket. Yeah, two or three chances of hitting the red, and you expect them to miss.
eight. I'm a strong believer in this type of situation. I know he couldn't play on it there, the red, but if he was to ever get the chance, I'm a believer in taking the red black at the earliest possible opportunity. Because even if you get the snooker off the red against Mark Selby, you're guaranteed you're not going to get a free ball. So he's still going to need red and pink or black. Karen Wilson even eight. if he gets a snooker. Good shot. An action replay of an earlier frame this where Wilson needed one snooker. In effect, law of averages, you need six or seven against Selby, maybe even more. Here's a, a little shot here. It's actually easier to go three cushions to hit this red. Quite a big target, I think. No one marks Selby. He'll probably play it off three cushions. Just avoid potting it. The yellow pocket, and then the red's a big target. He should hit this. Nope. Foul. Karen Wilson, four. The frame is now alive again. And the ball's very much in favour of Wilson if he gets the chance to clear. Nothing patently awkward. Selby's lead down to 33. That means to win the frame outright. If he does get the opportunity, Wilson needs pink or black off this last red. This is a stunning shot. <laughs> He's left the gap. He's very unfortunate, and he has. Can't pot it. Not to left middle, anyway. A little feathery tickle in behind the blue then. Well, had a go. Playing a different type of shot. Played it pretty well. That was well thought out. Obviously didn't quite have enough of the red to go behind the blue. No 
problem hitting it and they get it safe. Well, even the most troublesome snookers, Selby has the happy knack of being able to not only hit the ball, but hit it exactly where he wants it. Mind you, I think that will stretch his skills here. Precarious point of the frame and match. Great call, Phil, because, yeah, that's, that's what he played. It was easy to hit at one cushion, but he was unlikely to push it towards a side cushion playing it that way. Then off the two cushions, he was coming more to the side of the red, so percentage-wise, it was a better way to go, and he's got his reward. Well played. young chess wizard laying the moves on the grandmaster but ultimately the grandmaster always has the answer Yeah, the first semblance of a chance then on this last red for Kyron. Kyron doing the gentlemanly thing there, just inviting Mark to give him the time to return to his chair. But it looks like if he was to get the pot or get close to the pot, I don't think he'd be messing with the brown of the cannon so and if he gets the pot he'll be on pink or black in some shape or form
10 minutes of tactical hardball. Over the course of the last week and a bit, both in this tournament and in the Championship League, we've seen an awful lot of shots where they've jawed and gone across the cushion into the opposite pocket for a fluke. An awful lot. Thought for a moment we might see Selby. Fluking that one. Mark Selby. Calamitous. He now needs a snooker again. It really was unlucky to actually weave the cue ball through all of those colours in off. Nevertheless, Selby's got breathing space. Again, yeah, you can't legislate for that, can you? Never easy to get the swerve when the cue ball's tight to the cushion. Obviously blue's in the way and middle pocket's in the way, so any other option really. I think it's quite a lot of work on this, there's how awkward it is. Mm, too much. Foul. Karen Wilson, four. Twice. Karen Wilson has needed a snooker twice. He's got the necessary penalty points. What a frame to win this would be. Listed by Kurt of Paint. Wilson's attempt to get behind the yellow wasn't that bad. Just the slightest of misjudgments. And Selby pounces.
what a shot. Bonus time getting the green on the cushion, but <laughs> I enjoyed that. What a shot that was. I don't think he needs a, a visit to the optician after that. As he's done all evening, no Karen staying with him. now the third frame of the match that's gone over half an hour how hard does this guy make you work for your victories Again, Karen Wilson has been excellent tonight in terms of hanging tough with Mark. You've got to do it. Simple as that. just played a safety shot based on not putting Kyron in any trouble at all but basically telling him listen pal you ain't going to be getting a red and a pink off this or a red and a black that's all he was playing Got a half chance here getting behind pink and black but it's a bit too thick And so I'll be definitely feeling a little more secure, considering where the green is. Brilliant shot, more evidence of what I was saying, hanging tough with him and giving as good as he's been getting. Very good. Well, mm, that nice. changes things. Karen Wilson, four. Yes, because now any colour off the last red will be sufficient. Doesn't have to worry about the two highest value colours. Anything's OK. Yeah, the reason he's going to play this here, he obviously is going to try and get the green into the open. Or well, that's what I think he's going to play. Got to surely try and move the green here. Well, well, where's the cue ball? Whew. I was thinking more move the green with the cue ball there and send the red down this end as we come up and coming up in 21 minutes since the last pot.
Clean the red. Yeah. And the white. Okay. It did seem a, a dull reaction. Not surprised that the players asking for Karen Wilson's asking for the red to be cleaned. I think the white might follow suit as well. Certainly he's noticed something on the red. Tatiana Wollaston emblazoned on the, the ball marker. What a dogfight this is. Yeah, welcome to the trenches. This is <laughs> this is real hard stuff, isn't it? There's more of it. Quite deliberate. Kiss on the green there, just trying to promote it a tad, which he has done. More trouble for Kai. Mark Silby refusing to go quietly. One. He would wait all night. His Eight. patience is limitless. Ten. The granite as an Ailsa Craig curling stone, Mark Selby. Thirteen. Seventeen. Twenty. Twenty-eight. The three-time world champion is made of the right stuff. That's he's got everything in his game nice apart from one thing, a white flag. He never waves it. And this was the shot that saw Kyron Wilson finally blink. Are we going the full distance in what's now turning into yeah. an epic? Yeah. We'll find out yeah. in just a moment. It started out at Thank 7 o'clock this time. evening. Karen Wilson to break. A best of the 11 frame contest. Now, Wilson needs just one. Selby two. Your guess is as good as mine. Some value in taking this on. 
Oh, what a pot. Didn't what? quite get through the cue ball as intended, but the pot was magnificent. These are very tricky. Oh, what a shot. What a shot again. He just keeps on coming back at you, doesn't he? Eight. Nine. See how he addresses this cue ball now. Screw into them. And back her. Yeah. Sensibly. Waiting. Sixteen. Seventeen. Just as he was getting the foothold early doors in the frame, he's played probably his, well, his worst shot at the match. Rainbow. Mark Selby, 17. What a bruising battle this has been. Just as well, whoever wins, has tomorrow off. And even at this late hour, there's none of this. Uh, I'll just play a, a thick safety off the back and get them open, get the frame going early. <laughs> so, keeps. Yeah, see, Kyron's more likely to open them up. He's happier doing that. Not so much a sign of impatience that he wants to get the game going a little more than Mark. He's sort of searching for the winning line isn't he has been for the last well, last couple of hours it was an excellent shot wasn't it he really did play it nicely and not easy to pick out a return to bulk off this Stakes have just been raised, haven't they? Mm. The fact that the Reds are only open. Next mistake, bound to be your last. One thing you do know, he'll take his time and he'll pick out the shot that gives him 
the best chance of not leaving a pot on. He doesn't want to put Kyron in any sort of problems here because well, it's almost, almost impossible to do that. He's just trying to buy himself another shot. That's all that's going on here, I think anyway. Or is he playing this thin and the cue ball towards the green? You know, trying to buy himself one. And it's not good. If this was earlier in the match, you would fancy Wilson to make a substantial break. One. That's his first pot in 31 minutes of playing time. Obviously factoring in the time between frames. A lengthier period of being frozen out. So not always easy to get the, the Q-arm re-lubricated. Six. Seven. A minor irritation here is going to be queuing over the red. The pink does go. I think he's got all of the pockets aim at. One good thing, anything really to do with the cue ball. So just try and get the pot. Well played. I'm not saying this will 13. happen. If it does, who would have thought the match would end on a tame safety mistake by Selby? 14. That would be rich in irony, considering considering how he's fought tooth and nail. 15. Oh my goodness. Kyra Wilson, 14. Jings, how did he miss that one? Now again, let's talk about far jaw. And if he go anywhere near that, I know he missed it genuinely, but going through the old ringer at the minute is Kyron. One. He had a slice of fortune there. The pink coming so close to the red, taking another valuable colour. For now, out of the equation. Green is awkward, the black is hemmed in. Six. Twelve. We're looking at the plan, but there is obvious distance between the two reds involved. Thirteen. Thirteen. 
And for all the reds are in the open, it's, it's quite an awkward table, isn't it? Black out of commission, pink pretty 18. much out of commission. That's a good shot. Nineteen. Wrong piece of thing in there, the way he played that. To avoid the middle pocket. Twenty-two to the good. We're looking for three more reds with high value value colours. 27. Yeah, Three blues would be a 45 point lead. With two reds left, obviously. Yes, and the more balls that Selby pots, the more the awkward balls on the table that were once a help for Wilson will become a hindrance. 25. He'll be playing a little speculative cannon. He might not really play in the cannon here. It's just if he if he'd have got it, it would have been a bonus. He's quite happy as we was mentioned. The three blues Bet. here is his target. Get over the winning line, take us to a decider. Thirty seven. There's one of those here, it looks like he's. Yeah choose to play for all three of the reds, it just depends which one he feels he's more likely to get on. Yeah, deciding on the blue to corner because that way he's guaranteed the red with the rest. Good shot. Great thinking. We saw from the red two ago that the red closest to the black will pot to this top left hand pocket. Oh, the frame Mark is still Selby. not dead. 36. Of surprise than that. Very good with the rest of Mark Selby. So once again the door's been left ajar. This is not bad. Fancy him actually getting on a red here. A bit of room to play with. He's almost playing this as if he's playing for a black off the spot. Into the left corner and forget everything else. Great effort. Oh, this looks good. This looks very good. Six. A nudge made in heaven. that the whole complexion of the frame changes. This looks quite easy on the screen, but boy, this is a tough shot. Those are tough, very difficult. Karen Wilson, six. 
one of those shots you play the kind of half blind you see there you see the angle of it there call it a timing shot not easy when you've been made to suffer last couple of three hours so we 33 points to the good so red in any colour and we'll leave Wilson recording a snooker and Wilson you can see in his chair going through the ringer one it's a good job it is any colour because it's the lowest value that's going to avail itself. Six in front, 35 on, and a clear path to the last red. Four. Mark Selby, four. And a frame. Kyron Wilson concedes. Who would have thought this? Trailing 4 0 and then 5 3. Mark Selby still on the verge of defeat, but he doesn't understand the meaning of the word. 5 5. We've still got no clue who's going to reach the semi finals. This is the way the champion of champions is shaping up. Neil Robertson is into the semi final, the defending champion, thanks to a 6 4 win over Ding Junwei. Robertson will face Wilson or Selby. As for Joe Trump, will he beat David Gilbert 6-3 last night, aided by five centuries, a record equaling five centuries in a best of 11 frame match. That after beating another former world champion, Stuart Bingham, in the first round. Everything, Alan, suggests that it's going to be Selby, but this Side game... It's not been one you can put Mark into Selby a pigeonhole. No, you, you just never know, don't you? I mean, logic would tell you it surely Mark's a, quite a warm favourite, actually, just because, simply because of the way the match has panned out. 4 0 behind. The trials and tribulations of that. What was it, frame 8, when Karen flicked that last red and cleaned up from. A hopeless position he was in. Back come back game the jester and so, there'll be a nerve jangling decider on the fields. Yeah, he's actually, he's not bad here, isn't he? It's, it's quite a comfortable shot, this, the return to bulk. One of those, you, you play thin on the red nearest you. If you miss it, you catch the other one thin. This shouldn't be a problem. Now, Kyron 
It was the last frame, wasn't it? He decided to be quite aggressive and open the bunch up. Let's see how heavy handed he is here. It's quite a nice target in behind green and yellow. Expect him to shove a few reds into the open. Yeah, well he tried it. Right behind this, I think the red that's nearest the pocket, I think he can get through to it. But it's fraught with danger. There, it's there. Potting from distance, his weak point this evening. He's knocked in six of 23. Funny how difficult that shot is at midnight rather than half past seven. Early on tonight, wasn't missing that type of shot. It's understandable why he missed that. It wasn't easy in the first place, but fatigue does set in. Especially as he's had a match late this afternoon as well, let's not forget. When there's no crowd, you can hear the sweet sound of the ball thwacking into the back of the pocket. Much better than normal. That was really sweet. Reminds me of this of when he won six. Those Masters titles. Of course, the vast majority of the matches in that tournament are the best of 11. And he came through so many. 6-5. 7. Been a feature of the Champion of Champions this year. Players not generally not finishing the wrong side of the blue. Beautiful slick cloth that we have. But it's done this time. Not easy. Fashion some sort of position in the next red. You see it. Is he going three cushions in between yellow and brown? Yeah. Didn't quite get the spin. Good effort.
Mark Selby, 12th. to tell it might not be a bad thing that he can't get through to that red because the safety shot that he has here it looks to me he's not going to be shoving a red close to the left corner and he's got every chance of getting in behind green he's caught it a bit on the thick side but you see there the shape was good of the pack he wasn't going to shove one over the corner Green comes to help him out as well. himself another here shoving the red down 18 inches or so towards the other one that'll do safety shot he's playing here, he's got to try and cover the right half of the bunch yes he's not done that he's actually given up a bit of strangle hold on the way the safety battle's panning out we know what Mark's like when you get my chance to get freedom with his cue in them and generally he finds the, the the correct spot obviously being up there behind the green again evidence of the strong will Selby has the safety that he wants to play the reason he's worried about it is obviously catching one on the way back up and the bump of the left middle pocket that's the problem because he wants this cue ball off the second cushion to be just below the middle pocket hmm. decided to play it with check Need some help. And he's got it. Just. I was right behind that. It was basically the final revolution. Swerve. Oh, that was risky. I don't mean to be wise after the event, but it looked to me like he could play it thin and not get a double kiss. But yes, perhaps a sign of impatience. Coming to roost there. One. Wilson knows that Selby here could really 
heavily Paddy's lead. Eight. Nine. It's one of those nice chances in the decider. Four or five loose threads just waiting. A couple on the side cushion. A bit of insurance later on in the break. Fourteen. Fifteen. Just 22. worth noting that he is going to need one of the six reds that are the difficult. And at the moment, the four together and the two by the side cushion. Going to need one of, one of them at least. But that'll keep for the time being. Him, that was quite a clumsy shot. Thirty. Thirty-one. Yeah, well done. They might work in his favour. Now he's forced to open up the reds. Yeah, the little gap just to the right half of that little pack, that'd be his target. I don't know if he can get deep enough into the cue ball to get the right half of the, the cluster of four. But what we can see, this looks like being the pivotal shot of frame and match. Oh, beautiful. What a shot. What a shot that was. 38. See, he was searching, wasn't he, for the right half of them, and he got his reward. 39. On a high, Kyron Wilson on Friday night capturing his first ranking title on UK soil in this very complex if he loses here it will be a bitter, bitter pill to swallow Wilson, Alan, it's one that's rapidly getting away. Yeah, he'd be disappointed 47. if he goes on to lose the match, which is looking more likely by the second. It is a different tournament, this champion of champions, isn't it? You get your little group, as we call it, and you got to win two matches. It's a long old day. 4 0 in front, everything going swimmingly. Nothing rosy in the garden. How things have changed this evening. So the key shot now. Blue for 64. And he's controlled it nicely. So, red. And any colour. 
52. He marks Selby and goes forward to play Neil Robertson. Fifty-three. How many times has he had to go to the well tonight? Never discount him. And now spare a thought for Kyron Wilson. 60. Knows his fate. Post midnight misery. 61. It's not been a heavy scoring night for Mark Selby. Every chance here, he could make 66. his highest break of the match. 67. <coughs> 74. Mark Selby, 74. The break Fine ends the at 74, and so does the contest. He's a Leicester Tiger, he's a marathon man. And you know, here tonight, the jester has got the last laugh. He's beaten Kyron Wilson somehow.